Hello everyone. I am Dr. Trupti Ramteke. I am associate professor in the Department of Biochemistry, Government Medical College, Nandurbar, Maharashtra. Creating lucid and clear biochemistry content is my passion, and this video is for newly joined batch of MBBS, that is first year MBBS students under Maharashtra University of Health Sciences. Being new students, many students don't have idea about the syllabus of biochemistry. the paper pattern exam pattern and most important question is how to study so i am going to tell you the answers of all these questions in this video so this video is meant only for first year mbbs students of muhs apart from being the subject of first year mbbs what is mean by biochemistry biochemistry is a science which deals with chemical reactions occurring in the living cells and why it is important to learn biochemistry because a sound and comprehensive learning of biochemistry will help you to understand pathology and medicine in the second and third phases of mbbs competency based medical education has been introduced in 2019 so student must have competencies given by nmc this is the link for competencies it has uh, ug curriculum volume 1 uh, and second thing you must have a syllabus given by your university that is maharashtra university of health sciences this is the link to download the syllabus and third important thing that a student must have is previous year question paper specifically 2019 onwards because the paper pattern has been completely changed from 2019 so student uh, from the beginning should have idea about these competencies syllabus and question paper pattern during first year mbbs uh, you have to go through internal assessment examination and there is first internal assessment exam then second internal assessment exam and after that you have to uh, write or you have to take this preliminary exam so there are three exams first internal second internal and preliminary exam both in the first and second internal assessment you will have one theory paper of 100 marks and practical of 50 marks and in the preliminary exam there are two papers paper 1 and paper 2 theory papers each of 100 marks and practical will be of 100 marks so total theory will be of 100 from first internal assessment 100 from second internal assessment and 200 from prelim examination so total 400 so when 400 is divided by 10 it becomes 40 so this is the formula for calculation of your internal assessment uh, theory marks now for practicals 50 plus 50 plus 100 it is uh, 200 it is divided by 40 so out of 40 you should get minimum 50% this is the chart for internal assessment calculation and here it is written that uh, in the eligibility to appear for final university examination after conversion out of 40 Uh, the student should get 40% separately in theory and practical means for example in the theory out of 40 you should get minimum 16 in practical out of 40 you should get minimum 16 that is 40% separately but total combined it should be 50% means the total marks out of 80 it should be 40 so total of theory plus practical must be 40 so student should be aware about this right from the beginning so at the end then they won't face problem because if you don't get uh, the uh, means pass this internal assessment mark you are not eligible to appear for the university exam now let's see the syllabus of uh, theory paper 1 and paper 2 this is given in the mhs syllabus pdf so paper 1 syllabus includes basic biochemistry cell extracellular matrix the teaching hours are also mentioned here biological oxidation enzymes clinical enzymology carbohydrates chemistry and metabolism lipids chemistry and metabolism nutrition oncogenesis immunology antioxidant defense system genobiotic and atcom that is communication skills so this is the syllabus of paper 1 paper 2 includes protein chemistry metabolism integration and starvation nucleotide metabolism vitamins water electrolyte acid base balance mineral metabolism hemoglobin chemistry metabolism molecular biology and genetic engineering organ function test and investigation technique so this is the syllabus of biochemistry paper 1 and paper 2 now let's see how will be the theory exam paper pattern so there will be two sections section a 
for 20 marks that is question 1 mcq so there will be 20 mcqs and out of those 20 mcqs four will be clinical application based and 20 mcq one mcq for one mark so total 20 marks section b is of 80 marks so question 2 will be baq that is brief answer question 11 questions will be given out of that you have to attempt 10 questions so 10 out of 11 each question carries two marks so the uh, the baqs are two marks questions so 10 into 2 is 20 marks then question 3 is short answer question you have to attempt 8 out of 9 and out of uh, these 8 questions, 2 questions are case based or clinical application based means a clinical case scenario will be given and then you have to identify the disease and various questions are asked on that. So these are the case based question and in the paper one, one question will be on the ATCOM that is communication skill and each SAQ is for 5 marks so 8 into 5 becomes 40. Question 4 is LAQ that is uh, long answer question and out of 3 student uh, has to attempt 2 and 1 for 10 marks so total is 20 marks so each paper is of 100 marks and it is divided into two sections section a mcq and section b for 80 marks which includes baq saq and laq this is the practical exam pattern of muhs and in this uh, exam you have first question that is case based quantitative estimation Quantitative estimation means you have to estimate the exact quantity of the given parameter and the parameters can be various like plasma glucose, creatinine, urea, albumin, bilirubin. So there are various uh, parameters which are estimated in the UG laboratory and case based means a clinical case will be given and based on that uh, particular case, a particular parameter student has to estimate, perform the experiment and various questions are asked on that case. So it is for 25 marks. Question B is urine report. A urine sample will be given to you and you have to do various tests which will uh, show the presence or absence of various abnormal constituents of urine. So it is for 15 marks. Or students can also get another quantitative estimation also. Then question uh, C is quality control. So quality control has been newly added in the CBME curriculum. Earlier it was not there and this is related with the laboratory practices. So how the estimation of various uh, parameters uh, is checked for accuracy and reliability in the laboratory. So student get idea about that in this quality control. Then interpretation of lab reports and special techniques, minimum two interpretations. So this is very important because uh, biochemistry is a diagnostic branch and uh, biochemistry include estimation of various uh, parameters, laboratory parameters, which help in the diagnosis and monitoring of various diseases so students should be able to interpret the laboratory reports based on the normal findings and special techniques like ELISA, electrophoresis, chromatography so there are various techniques given in the syllabus of practical then comes spot test for 10 marks and total practical is 80 and viva will be based on the theory for 20 marks so total practical marks are 100 so in the practical exam uh, practical exam is of 100 marks that is the university exam the most important question is how to write answers in exam because many students they know the concept they can answer in viva but they are not able to write the that answer in exam so this is very important skill how to write the answers in exam and you, you should practice this from the beginning so write only what is asked write answers point wise in legible handwriting draw diagrams concept maps wherever necessary with short description and start writing each saq and laq on a new page and if you start writing any of uh, baq saq or laq for example if you start writing baq then first complete all the baqs and then go for saq don't uh, start writing one baq then saq and then laq if you you can start with any uh, one of baq saq or laq it's okay if you start with the LAQ, but first complete the all LAQs, then go for other questions. So this is very important. So these are the various important points about how to write. And for most important is you should know the answer. And if you should practice how to write, then, then only you can easily reproduce what you know uh, during the examination. 
Now the next important question is how to study. For many students, biochemistry is difficult subject. It is volatile, and that's why they don't pre prefer studying it right from the beginning. But students, I suggest you you start reading biochemistry right from the beginning so that it will be like a piece of cake for all of you because biochemistry has lots of concepts and if you understand those it is not just about the reactions and metabolic pathways if you understand that met metabolic pathway the significance of that met metabolic pathway and if you are able to correlate the defects of enzyme or a biochemical basis of anything with the disease then it you will find it interesting so the most important you should start studying right from the beginning and for that you must have recent edition of any of the recommended book I, i will tell you which are the recommended book for first year mbbs biochemistry second important thing is that you should have a mhs syllabus i already uh, told you that you should go through uh, word by word through the syllabus then you should also know competencies specified by nmc previous question year papers you should see how baqs are framed how uh, saqs are framed and Uh, on a particular uh, means the topic how the particular baq can uh, appear in the exam so for that you should go through previous year question paper so this is the must must have things then very important is you should attend all the lectures and practicals this is very important you should note down important points told by the fa faculty because uh, all, uh, means one book is not the best book so what is the uh, role of faculty faculty Uh, reads many book and they compile the information and uh, tell you uh, in the class so you should always note down the important points told by faculty then revise the topic on the same day because revision is the key and always dedicate at least one year for biochemistry every day then only you will uh, then only you will be able to recollect uh, everything or basic things uh, during the examination so that revision is very important and other important is you should form a study group with your friends for discussion discussion is very important and you should uh, form a group and you should teach each other because teaching is the best method of learning if you teach someone any topic then you understand or you learn learn it better than anyone else so i think uh, the for discussion is very important in the study group so study with your friends and this is also you, uh, will be helpful to you for viva also so these are some very common points about how to study biochemistry uh, you already know this but uh, if you means uh, practically do it then it will be very uh, helpful for you so i uh, i want to assure you if you follow this right from the beginning the biochemistry will not be difficult subject for you the recommended learning resources for biochemistry are the textbook like dm vasudevan rafi md sk gupta satyanarayan pankaj anai you can buy any of the given book and all books are good and for uh, as a reference book you can also use harper and leninger but uh, any of the given book out of this five book is sufficient for first year mbbs and for practicals Uh, you should have dr sk gupta manual of practical biochemistry for mbbs and along with this uh, the, any of the given textbook you should also refer to my youtube channel enjoy biochemistry and i read many books i read reference books also and i compile information from the review uh, recent review articles and i try to make it very lucid clear and easy to understand so i assure you uh, i uh, this uh, means this biochemistry content uploaded on the channel enjoy biochemistry will surely help you and i will try to complete the syllabus in 2023 so this is the recommended learning resources for you so i hope i could give you a slight idea and orientation about the subject biochemistry syllabus paper pattern exam pattern and how to study what to write in exam So right now I just want to say all the best to you and happy learning